Myanmar's newest war is in one of its most remote corners. On our way through the mountains to Kokan, we catch our first glimpse of damage from the fighting. You hit my bullet. This truck was part of a convoy and was shot at as it tried to evacuate migrant workers. It's not clear who's responsible. As we move on, we have to talk our way through several military checkpoints before reaching the border town of Chin Shui Ho. So we're now in what's known as the Kokan Special Region. There's a state of emergency in place here, which basically means the military are in charge. In the last week of fighting, the army has lost nearly 50 men, with dozens of rebels and civilians killed. The reason? The return of this man, Kokan rebel leader Fon Jia Xin, from five years of exile in China. Apart from the soldiers, this is now a ghost town, a normally vibrant community emptied overnight. Then we spot a small group moving towards the border. Che Che is a Kokan and says she hasn't felt safe since soldiers arrived in town. Ethnically Chinese, but recognized as a Burmese group, in the last week, 30,000 Kokan are thought to have fled into China. Just behind those houses over there is the Chinese border. Now, the Chinese have an awkward problem at the moment. The three most active Burmese rebel groups are all operating along this frontier. Beijing is stressing that it wants peace and stability but there are certainly officials and businessmen in China who are profiting from the wars here. Some of the displaced who don't have Chinese heritage have headed to the Burmese town of Lasho, where a large monastery has opened its doors. This woman's husband was among 19 soldiers killed in a rebel ambush last week. This is your husband. I tell my daughter that her father was killed in a battle, but she doesn't understand. She still thinks he's alive somewhere. Six months ago, a nationwide ceasefire appeared close. Now, it's a distant dream. As more Burmese flee the fighting, it's the role that China's playing that's under scrutiny. Jonah Fisher, BBC News, in Kokan Special Region.